Y'all, Jewelry is rolling over. He is rolling over. Jaya, you wanna say night night? We decided we're gonna spend the night again. So you guys, unfortunately, Jeremy brought his computer, so I was attempting to edit on his computer. However, my Final Cut Pro has all of my music, all of my um like plugins, like all of my everything. And then I you remember I just bought uh, my computer and it has like a really really fast processor so it's just taking way too long to process my color grade and I don't have all my other stuff so I don't want to give y'all half ass so yeah sorry y'all but um Jory what you doing eating on the covers girl what you doing eating on the covers girl show them you're rolling over I'm gonna I'm insert a clip of her dancing no you're not gonna open that angel do the dancing do the dancing. Go like this. Go Jory, 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 what you trying to open? Y'all, Jeremy's mom has these rooms hooked all the way up. We got refrigerators, microwaves in every single room, decked out. We don't got to walk downstairs, y'all. Um, leave that alone. Um, Journey, get away from mommy's drink. Go over here where the kids belong. Say night night. Say night night. So, Jory. I mean, not Jory. Journey has her um, school in the morning, so we'll probably leave as soon as she's done with her class. And then I have my no, Jaja. I have my um, wet. And then I asked my trainer, can we just do a late workout? So that's what we're gonna do. Say night night. Say night night. Mm -hmm. Don't go down there. Your daddy gonna be right back. Come back. So they sleeping in a kids room, but y'all y'all already know how they have their cribs at home So that when we put them down, it ain't no coming out Now they didn't came out these rooms three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen I'm just playing but for real for they've come out every single time Go Jory Go Jory roll over good job, baby Huh? What you saying mama? Huh? Your toes? I want you to go to bed. That's what I want. I want you to go to bed. Bye bye. <laughs> Who's that pretty girl? Go Jory, go Jory, go Jory, go Jory, go Jory, go Jory. Go Jory, go Jory, go Jory. Bye bye. Okay guys, it is Monday and I have such a busy day. Um, the girls, Journey and Jai stay with Jeremy and then I brought Jory with me because she needed some more milk. Um, so my mom actually came to my house to watch her because I had come to my seventh laser appointment, you guys. This is number seven, I got eight total. Um, and you guys know I'm getting my underarms as well as my bikini area. Um, actually, I, ended, I got my bikini area done the first two sessions, but then the third session, they end up saying like, oh, like they ask every single time, like, are you sure you don't wanna do the whole Brazilian? So I went ahead and just gave in and did the Brazilian. Um, as we know, each and every time that I have come, <laughs> it has gotten progressively worse. So yeah, there's that. Um, but it's only because I did get my monthly. Um, so this time around for this appointment, I did actually book it um, a few days after my monthly went off. So I'm kind of like in my fertile area. So I'll let y'all know if this is like, it, it just helps with people who have bad pain tolerance. Cause last time it was like the last two times I cried, I was like, turn that thing on down. I can't take it. So I'll let you guys know exactly what happens this time. Hey guys, happy um, Tuesday. I am leaving the doctor's office with so much good news y'all. I have never been this happy to leave the doctor. Hold on y'all, let me get in here and close the door. I have never been this happy y'all. I've been telling y'all that for months now, like I've been telling y'all for months that I've been having some um, 
hormonal issues and you know after i gave birth just going through postpartum and just like a plethora of things that did not happen and i was like i didn't really want to discuss over the camera or whatever um but i have my well this is month three of me having a cycle because as soon as i stopped breastfeeding i did get my monthly regularly like it came right back as soon as i was done however i still was having a few hormonal issues so y'all know i used to be with kaiser i did love my nurses and doctors at kaiser i, I cannot lie but um i like i got off that insurance while i was pregnant with jewelry so I had to find another doctor. My sister recommended her doctor to me, but her doctor obviously must be like top notch because she um, she's just always unavailable. <laughs> like she just has appointments like far, like you can't see her until like far, far back. And I, every time I call in, like it's an emergency or I need to see like her or whoever I'm gonna see like within a few days. So I went to a guy a few months ago to try to talk to him, which, have any problems with male doctors but preferably I would like my OB to be a woman like I just would so because I feel like even if a man is educated like they still don't get the like the woman's anatomy where the heck hold on y'all I'm gonna make sure I'm doing the right thing they, they still don't get the woman's anatomy because they're not a woman so certain things I may be um like expressing to them like they may know the medical terms or whatever but they don't really know you know they don't have the personal experience i like my doctor to have personal experience so i did it and i didn't really even like if i would have loved him i would have been okay let's just suck it up but i really did it so i was like okay Keisha, i'm not gonna force myself to keep going to someone who i just you know he was just kind of like blah and so anyways, I told my sister again, she was like, okay, try my doctor one more time. Once again, her doctor was busy, but they scheduled me with someone else. This was, I was like, whoever can give me the fastest appointment because my consultation is next week for my breast augmentation. So I didn't think it had anything to, like, it's not gonna have a conflict or anything, but I still wanna make sure before I book an appointment for my breast augmentation, like I'm good 100% health wise and I know exactly what's going on, but like, I just wanna make sure. So I saw the doctor and when I say y'all, I could literally cry. She was amazing. She was so good. She was a beautiful black doctor and like, I just loved it. Like I loved her like, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so happy. So I'm gonna stick with her. She's now my permanent doctor. Um, She was just everything. And most importantly, we got to the bottom of exactly what was, I knew I knew something was a little off, but we were able to get to the bottom of it, finally. Um, she said, like I said, there's no issues with, well, I could just tell y'all, it's nothing like a secret, but, so pretty much what I suspected is, is that my hormones, my hormone levels were off in some form or fashion, and, and the other doctor, he didn't do the proper, like, test or, like, he didn't really, and when I tried to explain what I was talking about, he didn't really get it, but she's a woman, like, so she got it, and, like I said, she did her little exam, and, uh, I was very comfortable, the first time I was really, 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 really comfortable when I, where am I going? <sighs> y'all know these parking garages, I know y'all try to clown me whenever I be in them. But um, yeah, she, she pretty much just said after giving birth, like my hormones are just slowly regulating this time around. So, you know, having the postpartum can also affect that. And my estrogen levels um, are low. So she gave me something to help out with that. And she said I should be good to go within a month. So thank God y'all, I just knew, I knew something was up. I was like, this is just like, I'm just, you know, it's just something is off with me. So I'm happy and now I'm on my way home. I'm supposed to work out, the, so the girls actually have, well not the girls both, because the girls have their regular classes, but I told y'all Journey sees a different, she has a different extra class added to her stuff. How the heck do I get out of this place? <laughs> She has a different class added, so it, she get like I have an extra day now of learning. It's like a full workload, y'all. Um, and I think we're. I'm trying to see if we can get it in person now that not not that COVID is over, but some people are opening up their. Um, is it staff exit? 
Now why is this so complicated to get out of this building? But yes, yeah, so I'm trying to find an in-person, um, like a, so she can have more of a hands-on. She's doing really, really good. But um, yeah, so I have her. Well, the girls both have their class today. And then I need to figure out if I'm gonna work out today. I've been doing good with this eating, y'all, because I was so nervous when I got on that scale. But I can't wait for y'all to see this journey because, whoo, I was like 89 pounds last week before I started working out with D'Angelo. Like 89 pounds. I got on that scale today, it said 94. I am not playing, like I said, I am not gonna put my life in danger trying to have no freaking brush job at all. So I told myself, I told y'all like, I wanna be a certain weight. I was like, I want, I wonder if they validated. Seven dollars. I should have asked them if they validated. But um, I told y'all I wanted to be 115. So when I saw 89, I was like, oh heck no. I was like, that is, I don't know, I hate this to my nails. Okay, there we go. Sorry, car. Hold on. I'm giving good right now. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got this freaking bleep, but um, yeah, I was like, I'm not about to be playing with my stuff and get no um, brush job. And I'm over here, and it's just not, like when I get off the table, I don't want to have to worry about nothing. And I had a dream the other day that I had a really, I, I had a dream of the doctor who did, like this is, the doctor I'm having a consultation with in a few days, that's the doctor I really, really want to do it. So hopefully everything goes good and you know, I really like her and I feel good energy. The first guy, like I, I had good energy with their practice all together, but you know, like, yeah, I'm just gonna see the difference in comparison. I need to go get my nails done today as well. So I'm gonna, um, I think there's this new location that I wanna try that's close by my house. I hate when it's gloomy outside. It's just making me not wanna do anything. And I have so much work. Like I still have not, I have to launch something and I still have not even gotten it together. But anyways, y'all, let me not bore y'all with my car ramble. So I'll talk to y'all. Back. You gonna be back? All right, come back. Come right back. Come right back, Jaja. Oh, Jaja, look at your hair, baby. Oh, look at you. You wanna show them what Nana did? Y'all, we didn't leave until like midnight last night. Woo! And Jeremy's mom wanted to um, braid their hair. Yeah. I just want to show them. You want you want to see how pretty you look? Look, 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 Jaja. Look. I know. Yeah, they don't they don't want to see you in that nose no more. Come on, Journey Bean. Show, let's show you. I'm gonna do Jory's here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do y'all like a spa day, okay? Well, Mama gotta go buy a foot thing. I don't need to buy no more thing. Mommy. Yes, baby. Mommy. Huh? Mommy. All right. What is it, baby? Mommy. Hmm? I don't want you. Yeah. You said, where was I? Journey, can you show your hair, baby? Look, Journey. Can you show your hair, baby? You just want to watch the show. Hey, Journey. Look. Look, Journey. Look. Who's this? Who's this? Is that your hair? Go, do, go. Thank you. I love holding hands with you, baby. Careful. Go with Jaja. Watch out. Mommy brought mommy brought home some what well, where is it? Oh, there you go. Make sure I edit. Remote? That's the remote? Uh, no, it's not yours. Remote? You want the remote too?
You happy and satisfied journey that you turned it on? With all this working out I've been doing, my body is so freaking sore. So I was like, I'm about to come up here and get me a full body massage. And this is exactly what I'm doing. I finished some work. I had to um, edit the Girls Like Us TV video for tomorrow. I'm gonna yeah, the 90 Day Rules cap. I don't know. I don't know if Steve taught Lori, but I don't think it was the 90 Day Rules. So so if a guy wants to be in the streets, he gonna be in the streets. So right. it can be a good girl like Keisha. Yeah. She can be heads over heels, yeah. and he gonna dub her. No matter how great yeah. her vagina is. Like if you, if you got the mind right to just go ahead and drop them draws, and you still gonna be Gucci if he not here next morning. Absolutely. <laughs> and that is the story of my life. I disagree. You don't think so? Yeah. I, I disagree. I just do. So you don't think a guy can genuinely just not like sex? The I sex with the girl? I'm not saying it. he don't like it. I just don't feel like... I feel like men are not ghosting women because they had sex with them one time and it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. I a little bit of what's going on and then y'all can go check it out if you're watching this video that video will drop at um noon so you yeah, go check out that video but um yeah so i'm just here at my favorite place lennox massage and spa I'm just doing like a little single um massage real quick but i just want to check in and just tell y'all what i was doing so i'll talk to y'all later okay y'all my mama got me coming to freaking sam's she gave me her sam's card so that I can come and get some stuff for the girls because I was going to just go to Publix. By the way, my massage worked wonders for me. Um, It's freaking raining. I want to take my hair down so I can um figure out my next intro and stuff and get that together. I was going to take it down today, but Girls Like Us is filming this weekend, so I'm like, maybe I'll just take it down on Sunday. That'll probably save me some time. I should probably get a buggy. Yeah, because y'all know Sam's has everything in bulk. I don't want to be. My mom said they have like a huge thing of. Hey, how are you? You said, Am I doing what? What'd you say? What'd you ask me? Oh, okay. Y'all not used to this. When you over here doing stuff you don't got no business doing, you don't know. You don't know what the protocol is. Oh, okay. So you just gotta show your car when you come in here and get the exclusive access. Okay, but anyway, so my mom said they had some, a sale on the diapers. Oh, speaking of, I need some plates. Oh, shoot y'all, this is a, a huge thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too much though. Y'all know how I can do. Oh, I got it. Oh, Jeremy's mom got some Easter baskets. Hey, how are you? No, thank you. I'm not interested. You too. So the girls are going. I'm still going to get them an Easter basket and like decorate it with like some real girly stuff. But I just want to get. Oh, shit, y'all. I just want to get in and out. I need to get like new cute key stuff. I've had the same. I have, it seems like I got a lot of keys and whatnot, but. That's because I got a key to everybody's house. Everybody, you know, <laughs> I just got so much of everybody's stuff on my own key ring. But I want to get like cute. Where's the um? I think it was over here, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look at the signs. Flour, sugar, spices. Yeah, I'm trying not to get distracted. Oh, these are the chips that um. But um, what I was about to say, y'all see, look, I'm over here just slowing down my pace, trying to look around. And I really want to get home so I can finish editing and working. But um, what's this, Bumble Bumblebee snack? I wonder if they got that, the, um, that cornbread in here. Y'all, I can't never just come in and get the thing I need to get. What is what is the problem? What is the problem? I think it's on. Which aisle is it on? But what I was about to say, I was trying to think like, based off the girl's personality now, what would be their careers of the future? So Jaya loves the spotlight. So she definitely be definitely. Well, but the thing about it is, 
she loves attention but she's still so shy like when she goes places for the first time Jaya is actually really really shy like really really shy for the most part now if she's around some familiar people she's cool but that's that's what makes me kind of hesitate for what her career will be like putting her in a career that allows her to be but then again i feel like being um oh shoot y'all there's a lot they don't be playing when they say bulk but um putting her in a position like uh i think i think she's still gonna do good in any type of entertainment or um like career that allows her to you know be a leader she loves to be a leader um she definitely loves to entertain journey is so meticulous she is so reserved but she's so smart um i think a, like she's a great listener and like i said she's very meticulous i think a good career for her would be a judge like i think she would be a great judge to like sit and be able to make executive decisions with the level head and just kill it and be one beautiful ass judge um, maybe I'm trying to live vicariously through my child <laughs> because y'all know I tell y'all all the time if I wasn't um, if I wasn't a YouTuber well I went to school for for acting my minor was political science so I love politics I love law but to be honest y'all like my dad wanted me to be an attorney but I actually really like where the heck are these dang on diapers okay now this ain't gonna work oh my gosh where could they be does somebody work here this is a pharmacy but yeah my uh i think uh, this is all the seasonings i was telling y'all about right here like all the bulk seasonings y'all when i say my pantry is gonna look so good oh y'all this modern